dandelion. How do you use them? Or why do you destroy them? This week, we're going to look at ways you, the viewer, suggested we should use dandelion. Stay tuned. Did you know that dandelion is becoming a superfood? With stores selling products like dandelion tea, dandelion coffee, dandelion leaves. In fact, it's grown as a crop. You say, say what? Dandelion, it's a weed. Well, hopefully, as if you keep watching, we'll change that idea. Has some one, or I should say some advertisers, hijacked your brain to see these plants as a weed that you need to destroy and get rid of and pull? You have to ask yourself, why do you destroy them? Why do you want to destroy them, but why do you destroy them? Maybe you learned as a child that it's important to pull them up and get rid of them all and you've been shown maybe by your parents and you feel duty bound to your parents to respect that what they showed you was to how to pull these up and get rid of them. Maybe, maybe you have a 20th century homeowner association that still requires that you get rid of dandelions in the lawn. Hey. Wait a minute, we're in the 21st century. If those homeowner association bylaws still state that, you should revisit that and say, hey, wait a minute, wake up. This is the 21st century. We don't have to be forced by someone to remove a plant that is so useful. And it is useful. So don't be afraid to stand up for your right and for dandelion's right to grow and to do their job. If you think, well, what do you mean do their job? Go see the earlier dandelion video as a great indicator and you'll understand what jobs they're actually doing. It's believed to have a lot of effects. One is it's considered to have a diuretic effect. It'll help you eliminate toxins. And if you look at the French word, it's called pisse. En lit. Three words meaning wet the bed. And that's where the diuretic effect has been known for a long time. It will help cleanse your system. Do you use dandelion as a food? I know a lot of you do. And thank you. The dandelions even thank you. <coughs> Maybe you're used to growing salad. And you say, yeah, I grow salad, you know, here's my salad or a different kind. And this one's gone to going to seed. Dandelion's a lot like lettuce. When it's green like these and just growing, it's going to be at its best. When it's going to seed, it'll be more bitter. So early in the spring, before dandelion have put out their yellow flowers, or later in the fall, when the leaves come back again to do a fall growth, that's when dandelion as a fresh salad is at its best. It's not as bitter. Not that bitterness is bad. We've really gotten away from bitterness as part of a, an ingredient. I won't get into bitterness, but it, it is very useful to eat some things that are bitter but just eat it as a salad. In fact, if you don't usually use it, then start with just a few leaves in a regular salad. Maybe you wanna put some kale in there and some lettuce, mix them into your salad. You won't really taste the dandelion, but you will get the, some of the benefits by eating at least a small quantity. And just as a comparison, because these are a perennial, as opposed to an annual in the case of lettuce or a biannual in the case of kale, the longer the plant lives, 
the bigger the root system. I'm sure some of you have dug up the root of dandelions and you go, yeah, I know they're these big, deep roots. Well, that's good. The bigger, the deeper the root, the more nutrients it has a chance to accumulate. And so doesn't it make sense that if it's had a longer life and accumulated more nutrients, that it will be better for you to eat, at least it will have more minerals in it. And so generally, dandelion will have higher mineral content than lettuce. And it'll be, kale will be a midway in between because it lives for, it can live for two years. So just try combining this with your usual salad. Start with that. It's also considered to reduce liver damage. There's a lot of uses and if you look at herbal medicine it's been used for a long time so look up herbal remedies herbal medicine and there is so many uses that dandelion have been considered for have you ever let your grass grow a little longer do you know that there's a simple ratio that basically the height of the grass the height at which you mow kind of indicates the depth of the root. So what is above is pretty well a mirror to what is below. The size of the grass will be about the depth of the lawn. If you really cut your grass that high, like a golf green, then your roots are probably about that deep. If you let it grow longer, like here, so your roots will extend to about the height of this grass. Well, the same goes for dandelion. If you get very small leaves, they are generally indicative or they indicate that the roots are gonna be smaller. If you have bigger leaves or really big leaves for dandelion, that usually means your root has more reserves, is bigger. So think of it as, well, do you want really young tender leaves? They may be tasty, you won't get as much, let me know which ones do you prefer. If you happen to hit a patch, and some of the best places I've ever seen are actually the edge of a parking lot where the gravel gets crushed and dandelion loves rock dust. It loves fresh, high mineral soils. And in that case, you can have these gigantic dandelions growing in a place you wouldn't normally think. So, Think of the size of the plant and the depth of the root. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the, in the comments below. Maybe you dig up dandelions and you're already extracting the root. Some of you are pros at it. I've seen some of you operating and you probably, like a pro, are equipped with all kinds of tools. If you have really tough situations, a narrow, long, shovel like this really helps depending on your soil in our case just a long screwdriver can work really well because we have a very light soil so all you want to do and before you dig I would say you want to know is your lawn or area that you're harvesting from does it get herbicides if it does then Maybe not the place you want to be digging the roots from. But if you don't spray anything, go for it. Use your own dandelions. So because the root tends to be straight, you want to have that shovel going in straight, not on an angle where you'll cut the root. So you just want to basically make it get lifted up a little. And I, I'm pretty sure... Oops. I cut it, or broke it. Well, that's, I did cut, I lost quite a bit of it. So not the best extraction. Let me try that again.
That's a doozy. Look at that big root. So as I said, the root size tends to be reflected in the leaf size. You see the difference in these two? So you want, if you want to get a lot of root, look for the big tops. Just a good trick. So I hope you will look at dandelion not as a weed, but as a resource for your compost, for eating fresh, for using as roots, for transforming as a superfood or as a medicine. However you use it, enjoy it. It's an abundant resource that should be viewed as a superfood. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hey, please subscribe and check out our latest video. You say, say what? This is dandelion. It's a weed.